This is digital circuit class. And we're going to start in chapter 11. But before we're doing chapter 11, because certain of the gentlemen in the front row skipped the last class, yeah. we're going to review part of chapter 10. We won't mention any names, but their ages are greater, about the same as mine. Okay, so, which is a week ago. Okay, so we have SR flip flops. Flip flops. Uh, we won't care about what's inside of them. We'll only. We'll, 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 like yeah, the, we did. Question wise. Yeah, well, yeah. What question do we end on? Uh, 15. 15? Still... Okay, so we'll we'll do the review of 10 and then start at uh, 20, 20, uh, 10, 23. So there's there's SR flip flops. And uh, the S is for set and the uh, R is for reset. And they have an output that's Q and an output that's Q naught. And they have a truth table. And the truth table um, says that uh, if they're both zero, then I hold whatever it is that I have. So the Q and Q naught does not change. If it were one, it would remain one. Um, if I get a one and a zero, then I, that's a set, and I get a one zero. If I get a zero one, then that's a reset and I get a 0, 1 as the output, and 1, 1 is not allowed. Not allowed. Okay, so as technicians, you make sure that we, when you build the circuit, you never get a 1, 1. All right. Now, the, uh, the set, reset, dis, uh, flip-flop could also have a gate. So we could so we could have a gate, and uh, so we have gate, SR, Q, Q naught, and now if the gate's zero, uh, it doesn't matter what those guys are. It won't. Uh, it's not going to change anything because the gate's zero, and nothing can happen. In this case, when the gate's zero, I could have a one one, and. Um, it wouldn't matter. So whatever, whatever, this is really a hold, whatever I have, I'm keeping it. So I'm not changing anything when the gate is zero. And when the gate's one, then I can, and I can do a set. And when the gate is one, I can do a reset. And when the gate is one, I can't, that's not allowed. All right, now I can have a, an SR flip-flop with a gate. And I can have a Q, and I can have a Q naught. And I can have a, a um, I think it's called set, I'm not sure. You have a set and a reset. I don't know. I'm on page, uh, I'm on the beginning of chapter 11. So I don't know what page this is on. Now, the, the, um, the gate and the, and the R and the S, these guys are synchronous things. They go with time. C, Y, R, S, O, U, S. That, I, that's pretty bad. And these guys are asynchronous. Synchronous, C, Y, C, R. And we talked about the Greek god, Cronus, and how that synchronous came in. Um, and now I can I can set it without the gate being on or the set reset, and I can reset it the same way. All right, now um, I can go and I can have an SR flip flop, and uh, I can go and, and do something like this. That's an R there. And now I can I call this ten. I'm in chapter ten, reviewing until we leave chapter ten. So this is a data flip flop. Call the yeah, call the D flip flop, and it gives a, a Q out, and and basically your your first set of RAMs were all D flip flops. So the first generation of RAMs where you had the awesome one K on a great big huge thing, um, were all data flip flops. 
Um, in the book, it shows a G as well. Yeah, that's right. You could have a gate on a on a data flip flop. You certainly can. You know, there there's multiple things you can have. That just you know it doesn't really matter. Then um, the next thing we're going to deal with is the J K flip flop. And so the J K flip flop has a J, has a K. It also has a clock. And the clock is a edge trigger clock. This is a positive edge trigger, but it could have a, a negative edge trigger clock as well. And it's going to have a Q, and it's going to have a Q out, and it's going to have a preset. <clears throat> That's not a how you spell preset. Preset. And it's going to have a clear. And the clear and the preset may or may not be inverted, depending on which one you have. The clock may be a positive or negative edge trigger device, depending on which one you buy. But in any event, what's going to happen if I have a J and a K, and I have a zero and a zero, then my output is going to be a hold. So whatever the Q was, it still is. If I get a one and a zero, then I, I get a 1 and a 0 out, a 1 for the Q and 0 for the Q naught. If it's 0, 1, then I'm going to reset it to that. And if it's a 1, 1, I'm going to toggle. <clears throat> and uh, so if it, it, a toggle means if I was 1, 0, I'm going to be 0, 1. If I was 0, 1, now I'm going to be 1, 0. Um, I'm going to toggle to the other state, whatever it might be. The J, K is only going to be active at the edge of the clock. So if I, if I have a positive clock, that's what I've got, and my clock is doing this, then this, the J, K is only going to make a difference at that positive edge trigger. If I have a, a clock that's a negative edge trigger clock, and my clock looks like that. That's a pretty bad clock, but I'm only going to change the J and the K on the negative side of the clock. That's all that's going to happen. My my reset and my clock, my reset and my clear preset and my clear are asynchronous and will happen at any time. Any time they happen, that happens. They take over. It's done. Okay, so that's where we are. Now we're going to look at problem 1023. And there's a whole family of chips that have these guys on. Normally the chips will have two of them. Sometimes you get more. A23. 1023. All right, so I'm looking at 1023. Found the right page. 476, if anybody cares. What is one additional synchronous operating mode that a JK flip flop has that an RS flip flop doesn't have? The one one. The toggle. All right. Now, this is a test question that will be on the study guide and the test too. And spelling will count T O G G L E. Unless, of course, you've missed something. Before then, then spelling wouldn't count. But only spelling would only count if you're on the way to get 100 on the test. Okay. Otherwise, spelling wouldn't count in um, the toggle. So the toggle is the only thing that JK flip flop has that the RS flip flop doesn't have. And why didn't I do that last week? Anyway, that's pretty simple. Um, 1023, 1028, 1028. Sketch the output waveform for this particular guy. Okay, so and we're doing that. Okay, so I, I've got a clock pulse, and I, I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and it's a negative clock trigger guy. So that means whatever's going to happen is going to happen there. I've got. Um, a um, JK 
that are both one. So that means I'm going to go and toggle everything every time something happens. My all right, we. Um, is there a reason you're going on the falling edge, or does it matter? See the clock. It's yeah. a negative edge trigger clock. There's a a circle there with a triangular thing saying clock pulse. The triangular thing on the picture means it's a edge trigger guy. When it goes like that, that means edge trigger. And when there's when it's there's a circle on the outside, that means that it is a negative edge trigger. So yes, that's why I'm over here on the negative edge trigger of the clock on the negative on the down guy. Okay, well the RD, which is the reset guy, um, starts low and goes high and stays high through the whole time. So that means that Q, because of the reset, is going to start low. So Q is going to be low when I start because when I'm low, it's inverted, it becomes a 1, the reset's active, and Q is low. All right, so now I, I way to go. Nothing's going to happen <coughs> until the first edge trigger. So I get to the first edge trigger, it's toggling, so I go up, I go to the second edge trigger, it toggles, it goes down, the next one toggles, it goes up, toggles, go down, and I'm done with uh, 1028. Okay, now if the reset would have done something in here someplace <clears throat> else, then it made you know, a different picture, but uh, that's all it is, there ain't no more. You want me to do, uh, want me to do 29? No, we don't. Okay. We'll go to E101. E101. Okay. E101. Load circuit 101A. All right. Well, um, Okay, I look at the JK flip-flop, it has a 1 on both the J and the K. Because it has a 1 on both the J and the K, it is set up to do a toggle. That toggle will occur on the negative clock pulse because I've got a negative clock pulse symbol there. So when the, the clock pulse goes negative, I'm going to change from whatever I was to what to the new state. So I was zero, I toggle to one. I'm one, I toggle to zero. I'm zero, I toggle to one. Okay. I'm one, I toggle to zero. Okay. okay. And uh, let's see, where are my files? There. No, that doesn't look like them. That's a Word document. Oh, I don't want that. Where are my... There they are. I found them. There they are. Underneath there. Okay, so there they are. Problems. Version 9. Chapter 10. 10 1A. All right, so I'm opening 10 1A. And this is a cross NAN SR flip flop that's in figure 10 2, allegedly. <clears throat> open. All right, well, yeah, that looks like an, an SR guy. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Boom. All right, so now we're back to uh, E10-1. All right, in part A, um, we want S to be equal to something, and we are, want R to be equal to something. To set it, we have S being on, should be on, and R should be off. 
All right, so we'll come back to our moly sim. S appears to be on, R appears to be off, and I've in fact set it. All right, so A is, we're done with A. Uh, B, to reset it, we expect S needs to be off and R needs to be on. So we'll take S and we'll turn it off. Turn off, you stupid thing. Oh, S. Where's the S guy? Boom, off, R on. And look at that. It did, in fact, reset. All right, so that was right. What will happen for the output cues of U6 to receive the value of U5? What has to happen for the Q outputs of U6? Where the heck's U6? Are you on the right column? I think you're on the leader three. Oh. To hold the last oh, value I see. See, I see it. To hold the last value of Q, you must make. Okay, so we'll do that. So if we're going to do a hold, we need S to be off, and we need R to be off. All right, so we'll go to um, R off. Boom. Oh, it held it. Isn't that great? So it actually right. did. Can you go back and make it um, set? On, set. Off, and now do the whole thing and see if it holds there. Yeah, it's holding there too. Okay. Holding there. Holding there. Now, I'm going to cheat. They're both going to go high, which isn't allowed. Oh, oh, bummer. Now they're both on. How can you have them both on? at the same time if Q is Q and Q naught is Q naught. That's why it's not allowed. Because the circuit will have them both go high. But they can't both go high because one's a Q and one's a Q naught. Oh, my mind's about to blow up. <laughs> All right, so not allowed. All right, next problem. E107. Uh, e, 10, 7. Uh, load circuit 10, 8, E. And load circuit 10, 8, E. How are we going to do that, I wonder? 10, 8, A. All right, so there's 10, 8, A. Okay. I wonder what that thing over on the other side is. Um, there is a JK flip-flop, synchronous it inputs JK and a positive clock pulse. Okay, I see that. And an asynchronous, guys. I see the asynchronous, guys. Okay. List the steps that will need to be performed to um, sequ uh, sequential. Uh, Synchronously, synchronously reset Q. All right, so uh, is it on? No, it's not on. I'm gonna say we gotta we gotta get rid of the other guy being on before we can make this guy be on because only one can be on. Okay. All right, so I want it to synchronously reset Q. Okay, so what I have to do is, in order to synchronously reset it, I have to have it on first. Okay, so I'm going to go and go um, K. Oh, on right now, right? No, it's not. That's not on. G. The output's not on. No, the output's not. Well, that's a, in order to reset, yeah, but it wants us to, we're in this state. What do we have to do to synchronously reset it, is what it's asking. So what steps must I take? Well, I need to get, I need to make K be off, and I have to cycle the clock. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, have K off, cycle, clock. 
Then I'm going to go K on um, J off cycle clock. All right, so I'll go back. K on J off cycle clock. There, I did it. In order to reset it, I had to set it first. So that's why I went to the set part so I could reset it. <clears throat> List the steps needed to perform a synchronous set of Q. All right, so I'm back to here. So this is the A guy, the B guy, K off cycle clock, uh, J on, J on cycle clock. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, J on, K off, cycle clock. All right, I did that. Make J1 and K1. What happens if you continuously press C? All right, so, so um, Q will go off and on. There we go. So J and K both on. They're both one. And now I'm cycling C. And I'm probably cycling it quicker than it can actually change. OK? Everybody like that? D. If the asynchronous inputs are allowed to float, what happens to the operation of the flip-flop? Okay, so if I, if I disconnect the asynchronous inputs, then they're going to float high and turn on. They're both going to be on, and we didn't cover that in the truth pay table, but if both of them are on, it's going to set. All right, so we're going to write down D will set. Uh -huh, I love it. All right, so now we're going to go in, remove the wires, and see what happens. I right, move the wires. <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing happened. Absolutely. Not. Well, I don't know if nothing happened or not. Let's see what happens. I... Absolutely nothing. It's a knotted input. It 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 um, floated high and inverted to a zero. That's what it did. It floated high and inverted to a zero. So we'll change our answer to nothing. If we can spell nothing. If we can't spell nothing, then. Were you hoping one of us would have caught that? What? Were you hoping one of us would have caught that? Yes. I thought so. Did you? No. Oh, bummer. Not even close. Not even close? Connect the SR switches to the asynchronous inputs. List the steps that will you need to follow to set and then reset the flip-flop. All right, so we're going to set this guy up here. I'm going to hook that guy up there. OK. OK, so to set the, re the set, to set uh, s equals 0 and reset equals 1. Boom. What happened? <clears throat> it should have reset. It should have set. It did? No, it didn't. It's not on. 
The light's not on. Because it's not a person. Well, the, the zero becomes a one. The one should have set it. Can we set R equal one? No, when R is one, it's 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 inverted to a zero. Oh. Stupid guy, anyway. Why well, I, I am? That's what these switches are about. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I I would say it's broke. <laughs> but what what's supposed to happen right now is it's supposed to be setting and it's not setting. No. No. Was it offering you? Was it offering you um, change to the wires that are gone? Oh, I have to cycle it from uh, from the wires being on. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I was thinking. And there you go, dumbass instructor. Anyway, <laughs> and then um, all right, now it's working. Okay, it's working fine now. Cycle it after you move the wires, you dummy. Right, did I already put down the answer to that? I didn't put uh, cycle the power though. Cycle power. Okay, there we go. So now we're done with the 10 problems. And now we can start chapter 11. Okay, excellent. Chapter 11. And we'll check this out. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like we are. Um, that, that's a good point. I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. That that chapter eleven isn't started until the twentieth, and uh, so we'll we'll just instead of starting chapter eleven, we'll do something else. We'll do something weird. We're gonna say. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use four JK flip flops. I'm gonna use four of them, and I want those JK flip flops to give me a one, a three, a five, a seven, and then I want it to recycle back to one. Okay, that's what that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna make a circuit that uh, that that does a one three five seven one three five seven one three five seven got it one three five seven that's what I'm gonna do. All right, now, what does a one look like? That's no fun. We have to go to nine, right? Okay, so a one looks like zero 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 one. All right, what does a three look like? And a five, and a seven, and a nine. All right, so that that's what we want the JK flip flop to do. We want it to light up the one, and then light up the two and the one, and then the four and the one. And okay, so that's what we want it to do. Okay, now. Um, Okay, so we got this JK flip flop here, J and K, and we got this flip flop here, J and K, and we got one over here, J and K, and we got another one over here, J and K. Okay, and we got some clock pulse, and we're gonna have all these guys go at the same time. Is it a positive clock pulse or a negative clock pulse? Or don't we care? <clears throat> we probably don't care. Now, is this Q0 or is that Q3? Where, which is the most significant bit here? It, it doesn't matter. 
Okay. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to make this 0, 1, 2, 3. That's, so I can't go up any higher, but this is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay, so that's, that's what it's going to be. Okay, now, so I've got K, J3, K3. And I've got uh, J2, K2. And I've got J1, K1. And I've got J0, K0. And I want to have a 0, 0, 0, 1. OK, so I'm going to start with 0, 0, 0, 1 before the first clock pulse. How do I do that? How am I going to do that? Okay, so I'm going to take, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the the reset guys down here. I'm going to make him a one. I'm going to make him a one. I'm going to make him a one. They become a zero. I'm going to, no, I'm going to make them a zero. I'm going to make him a zero. I'm going to make him a zero. They become a one. They reset. This guy, the reset becomes a one. The set, on the other hand, he's going to be a 0. This set's going to be a 1. That set's going to be a 1. That set's going to be a 1. And it's going to go away when? So it's easy to have a 1, and it's easy to have a 0, right? How do you have a 1? You have a 1 by hooking it up to VCC. So I take this guy here and a VCC, now I've got a 1. So it's easy to have 1s. It's easy to have zeros. I, I ground this guy, I have a 0. I ground that guy, I have a 0. I ground this guy, and I have a 0. But how do I get this guy to be a 0 and then, and then revert to a 1? And how do I get this guy to be a 1? Uh, it's easy enough to get that guy to ground. So, so this guy, this guy's got to be a one. But see, these guys have to be, have to go to ones before the first JK does anything. Okay, have you guys had capacitors and circuit analysis yet? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, too bad. Ca capacitor, capacitors charge. So if I if I make a circuit and I go uh, five volts and I go to some capacitor and I have some resistor in there I'm going to put a resistor up here and I go to ground and I hook this up to to these guys that are that are have to be zero and then go to one so I hook them up there. Then what happens is that when I turn on the circuit, I'm grounded, and then the capacitor charges, and I turn into a 1. You mean you ground up top one? Oh, yeah, that's going to happen, too. I'm going to have to have the same type of mechanism up there to, to turn those. Okay, so there is a way to have the initial condition be 0, 0, 0, 1. You're just going to believe me. Okay, that's the case. So there is a way I can make the initial condition be 0, 0, 0, 1. If I can't do that, how can I have this guy count 1, 3, 5, 7, 9? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, if I can't have a 1 to begin with. So i got to have a 1 to begin with, and then all my sets and resets have to go high in order so that I don't interfere anymore with the counting. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, on the side here, we're going to say, what do I have to do to set these guys. Okay, so if I'm 0 and I want to go to 1, then I could have a toggle to do that, or I could have a 1 and a 0 to do that. Okay, so if I want to set, I have to have a 1, but I don't care what the K guy is. So this is J and this is K. If I want to do a reset, 
I could do that with a toggle, or I could do that with a zero one. So if I want to reset, I don't care one. Okay. If I have um, a one one, and if I have a if I have a if I have a one, and I want to keep it. What am I going to do? Well, I can have a one zero or I can have a zero zero. That's an I don't care zero. If I have a zero and I want to keep it, I want to keep the zero, then that's an I don't care one. Uh, that's a zero. I have a zero and I want to keep it, that's a zero, one, or a zero, zero, which is a zero I don't care. Okay, so to recap, and I'm running out of room here, if I have a one and I want to go to one, okay, so I got a one and I want to keep it, then that's a I don't care zero. I don't care. So if I'm a zero and I'm going to a zero, then that's a zero I don't care. If I'm at a one going to a zero, one going to a zero, one going to a zero, that's a I don't care zero. One going to a zero. Right? One I don't care. That's one. one, no, one going to a zero would be a, I don't care, one. I don't care, one, because I, the reset has to be a one. So I could either toggle or do a reset. If I have a zero going to a one, then that's a one I don't care. Okay, so now I got, I got that down, J and K, what I'm doing, J and K. All right, now, <clears throat> I've got... Zero, 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 one, by some magic means. I didn't tell you what it was, right? Some magic means, I did that. And now I want to go to three. Zero, zero, one, one. Okay, now this went from one to one, right? So one to one is, I don't care, zero. The other guy went zero to one, which is a one I don't care. The other two guys went zero to zero, which is a zero I don't care. All right, now that we're there, we want to go to five. Zero, one, zero, one. I don't care, zero. Zero, I don't care. One, zero, going to a one, I don't care, one. One, no, that's not right. You guys are talking me into things. One, I don't care. One, I don't care. Um, this is a uh, I don't care one. Okay, now I'm going to go, I'm at my five. I want to go to seven. Zero, one, one, one. Zero, I don't care. Um, I don't care zero. I don't care zero. I don't care zero. One, I don't care. And then we're going to go to a nine. One, zero, zero, one. I don't care zero. I don't care one. I don't care one. And uh, one, I don't care. Now, now I got it. I still got to get back to a one, so uh, zero, 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 one. So um, I don't care one. I don't care one. First one is a I don't care one. Um, yeah, this is this is where you always go back to your chart. So uh, one going to a zero. I don't care one. 
zero going to a zero going to a dumb thing anyway. Zero going to a zero, zero I don't care. Zero I don't care. One going to a one. I don't care. Zero. Alright. So that that's what we have to do. Alright, so now we look at this and we look at these things. Um, and we can't see them all at the same time, so that's really bad. So, J3 J4 J2 J3 J2 J1 K1 J0 K0. So now we're looking at the at the low low lying fruit. Okay, so I'm going to look at K3. I don't care. 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 One. So K3 can be a one, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to look at K. Um, we'll look at we'll look at K2. K1. K1. I don't care. One, I don't care, one, I don't care. So K1 can be a one. Perfectly okay, we'll keep it that way. We look at K0, and we have a zero, 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 zero. So K0 is going to be a zero, we're going to keep it that way. All right, now we're going to look at K2. Okay. K2. has to be a zero here or has to be a one there. Okay, so how do we make something a zero or a one? The reset? No, 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 no. No. If we if we look at that guy. K0, K1, K2, K3. And when will this guy be a zero? He'll, he'll be a... But you know every four goes into the end? He'll be a zero when I have the right number here. Okay. And if I have the wrong number there, it is just going to be a 1. So this is only going to be a 0 when all those guys are 1. That's, that's, that's the only time it's going to be a 0. So we look back at, at uh, what are we looking at anyway? Got to go back. So we need a, a 0. Where do we need the zero? We need the zero here and every other place we need to have a one. Okay, so we're going to use a um, going to use a, a um, four input man and um, we're going to use Q. These are these are the Qs, right? So we're going to use Q zero, Q zero, Q one not, Q two, Q two not. So that's how we're going to do that. And so we come back up here and we have Q0, Q1 naught, Q2, Q3 naught. And now that's going to give us a 1, 1, 1, 1 when we're in that case and put a 0 right there. And the rest of the time, we're going to have a 1. And we're not going to have anything to do with it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 more to consider. 
We'll look at J3 next. And J3 needs a 1 there. Okay. And how are we going to get a 1 there? We are going to use an AND. So if I use an AND, and I use uh, Q3 naught, Q2, Q1, Q0, then I will get a 1 at only one time. I'll get a 1 when I have a 7. All the rest of the time I'm having a 0, and that's perfectly OK. So at 0, when I, when, I, when I have 7, the 0 is inverted. I get a 1, 1, 1, 1, and I get a 1 sitting there. OK, now J2. Okay, I need a 1, and I can have a 0 every place else. So I'm going to decode a 3. So this guy here, I'm going to have J3 equal to Q3 naught, Q3, Q2 naught, Q1, Q0, which is a 3, and I'm going to, do, I'm going to use an AND geek to do that. All right, now I'm going to look at J1. J1 has to have a 0 there. It can have anything or a 1 the other places. Okay, so it has to have a 0 there. So J1 is going to be, what is J1 going to be? I need to decode a 9. 9. Q3, Q2 naught, Q1 naught, Q0, the whole thing knotted because we want a NAN there to give us a 0. All right, one more to go. J0. J0, it doesn't matter. J0 is an I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So what's your pleasure? No, we will put a 0 there. All right. Now all I have to do is build the circuit and show you that it actually works. That's all. So um, what do we need? We need a, a positive gate JK flip-flop. Uh, although a negative ed tr edge trigger would work too, it wouldn't really matter. Um, so let's see if we can find the right guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking for one with a positive clock pulse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us what it is. 74, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, sick and tired of looking, so. Oh, here's one. There's one right there. 74, 76. Exactly what we want. Okay, turn off. Turn off. 74, 76. Where are we? Um, there. 74. 74, 76. Yep, 74, 76. All right. So I want uh, 1, 2, Three, four of them. 
right now I need some four input NANDs and some four input ANDs. And uh, there's a three input and where the heck are one, two, three. So there's the four input ANDs, 74, 21. So um, 74, 21s. Way to go. There are none there. 24, <clears throat> 74, 21. Thank you very much, author, for not giving me any there either. 74, 20. The front cover of your book. 21. All right, there we go. There we go. So how many of these guys do we need? One. I need one, two. How come I didn't do J1? I didn't do J1. Bummer, I have another one to do. But I, I only need two of them. And then I need the four input NANDs, and I need one, two, three of them. I want a zero. It has to be one every other time. Okay, so I want three of them. One, two, three. Okay. So I just take three. I need two that are like that. And then I need three that are NANs, and we'll just put a NAN in front of them and an inverter in front of them and not go look at them all. Okay. Um, so all, all things being equal, that should be all I need except the circuit to, um, you know, put these guys on the bottom. Now, we need something else. What is it? We need a digital. We need VCC. Okay, we'll get that. And we need it in several places. And we need a digital ground. Now, the digital ground doesn't hook up to anything. It's in the picture, and what it's doing is providing a ground to all the digital circuits that we see. So it, when I'm doing it on my photo board, I got a ground pin seven. Well, the same thing is true here. These guys all ha are chips, and they all have a pin seven. The pin seven's not showing. It has to be grounded. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So okay. You put that on multi -SIM and yeah, you have to put it on. Yeah, the, you put it on okay. multi sim, and it automatically grounds all your pin sevens. Oh, okay. If you don't put it there, then you haven't grounded your pin seven and multi-sim won't simulate the way you think it's supposed to. All right, now, back to, back to the issues at hand. K3 is a 1. K3 is a 1. All right, so I'll come up here, move that up to there, and then we'll run a wire K3 is a one. So we're going to remember that this guy's K3. All right. And um, we want K1 to be a one. Okay, so K1 is going to be a one. K1 right there is going to be a one. And then we're going to get a real ground. There's a real ground. And we're going to say, where are my zeros? And I want a zero at J0 and K0. Okay. 
So those are the only places where I'm going to have zeros. I'll come over here to be a little bit closer. All right, so now all my all my J's and K's that aren't messed up, messed up. That's a, that's a um, technical word, you know. All right, now first guy we'll worry about is K three sitting right there, and K three. J three. I hooked it up to the wrong spot. K3 is supposed to be 0. Okay, so this is K3. Boom. Okay. And it is supposed to be Q3 naught, Q2, Q1, Q0. Can I remember that long enough? Q3 naught, Q2, Q1, Q0. Now, what is that? Okay, so that's okay. All right, so I got that guy. And I'm going to look at Q2, that guy sitting right there. And I'm going to say J3 is going to be Q0. Q3 naught, Q2 naught, Q1, Q2. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I think I got it. Got a headache anyway. All right. So I'm going to go. Here's this guy. He's going to J2. And I want to be Q naught, Q2 naught, Q2. Q zero. All right, I got him. These next two guys are going to be knotted guys. These next two guys are going to be knotted, so I'm going to have to go and knot them because I want them to be NANDs. Um, TTL, I want 7404s, right? 7404s. And I want uh, one, two, three of them. All right, hook up um, him to there, this guy to that guy, that guy to that guy. Okay, so I'm Don't also... Do four gate man? Yeah, if I knew what it was, I would use it. Okay. We yeah, all, this is just convenient. We, we already covered that I don't know what it is. Where were you when I covered that? And, oh, sitting in that chair right there. Okay, so the next guy is K2. Okay, so we're going to hook up K2 next. K2, that guy right there. Okay, and we want him to be Q0. We want it to be Q0, 3, Q2, Q0, 1, Q0. All right, so Q naught three Q two Q naught one and Q zero. Okay, uh, next guy. Q, we want that guy. Q1, which we haven't decided what it is yet. So Q1 has to be a 0, and we want to decode a 9. So I want a 9 naught. Now, have I decoded a 9 naught already? And the answer is no, I haven't. If I would have recorded, if I would have done it already, then I could use it right now, but I haven't, and that's um,
because I hose myself over in that regard. Okay, so I need a Q naught. Right. A nine. I need a nine naught. All right, so I need to okay, so this is gonna come up to there. And to have a nine knotted, I need a uppercase guy of Q. Alright, that's good. And then I need The next guy is M. The next guy M. And then the next guy is probably there. All right. Uh, both of these guys are zero. Am I done? Did I get everybody? I got another one to go. What did I do wrong? Right. Oh, I already did Q1 right here. That's the problem. I already did it, and I didn't recognize that I did it. Okay, so that's fine. So now I'm, I'm all hooked up. I'm almost ready to go, but I'm missing the clock pulse. So let's go get a clock pulse. Um, where is my clock? Um, no, no, I mean, no, it's uh, here someplace. I thought it was there. There, there we go. Um, no clock current. Yeah, what is a stupid clock pulse anyway? Clock voltage. There we go. Got it. I right, saw. So I got a clock pulse. Oh. Yeah, white line. You can't say on the camera. Yeah. All right, so I got a clock pulse, and we're gonna go into the clock. And this is where it really would have been cool if I would have done something clever like change colors. Because now I'm, I got red everywhere. Okay, um, I need some display, don't I? So I'm going to go and get a seven second, seven segment display. Where the heck is it? Hexadecimal display. Um, decade. Yeah, there we go. I'm only going to nine, so I can use him. Where'd he go? Okay, so there's that guy. I look over there, and I'm, I'm sort of hoping that the least significant bit is over here, and the next bit is over there, and the next bit is over here. And oh bummer, I blew it already. Undo. Is there an undo guy? Right there. Undo, undo. Okay, so I got this guy, I want to go there. I got that guy, I want to go there. Mm, he's probably there though, I'm thinking. No? He, it looks like he's there. I want to get here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Kind of right. And over here, I want to get there. All right, we'll turn it on. It's not going to work yet. And why is it not going to work? Well, I haven't done anything with the presets and sets yet. Okay, so now i got to do things with the presets and sets. And I didn't bother to put a, a ground on the, um, I'll put a ground there too. All right, we got a ground there. And right now the, the presets of sets are going high, 
but I, they were never they were all zeros to begin with so they're all zeros to begin with they're all they're all ones to begin with we don't go to any place because we don't go to where we're going how disappointing what are you talking about Five volts, VCC. Yeah. Each of the four? Oh yeah, it's it's powered up. VCC is on the board. It's going to all of them. Yeah. Just like the digital ground is there, it's going to <clears throat> all of them. So now we have to worry about the presets and the sets. Okay. Um, okay, I can have one, one, one going there. Okay, so I will do that. Um, one, 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 and I look at the bottom, and I've got to have zero, zero, zero with a one. I need a one on the last guy. Okay, so I'm going to hook the last guy up to one. All right. Now I'm going to cheat. Well, I'm not going to cheat, but I'm going to, I'm going to delete these guys because I don't need them. Why can't I delete them? I'm going to turn off power. Delete, delete. All right, now I'm going to take a switch. Where's my switches? There, I found it. Switch. Well, I think I can do with less than that, right? That'll do. Will that do? Okay, so I got a switch, and I want it to go from a zero to a one. That's all I want it to do is just go from zero to one. Zero to one. Zero to one. Zero to one. Okay, that's okay. I got it. All right, now I'm gonna go. And get a uh, some power here. Where's my pocket? I don't I don't see many of those spots. Um, sources. All right, we'll go with another VCC, and we'll go with another ground. And uh, we'll go with a resistor. Uh, probably 10K would be okay. 10K. All right. Oh, stupid machine. All right, so look up there. Look up here. Look up there. Okay, now, when I throw this switch, I'm going to be high everywhere, right? And before I throw that switch, I'm going to be grounded everywhere. Alright, so I want to, uh, that's in the wrong spot. I want him to be there. How did I mess that one up? Okay, so I'm going to grab this guy. Bring him down to there. And one, two, three, four. All right, so right now I'm grounded which gives me a one. That's hosed. 
which gives me a one. Clear, 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 and sets this guy to start off with a one. Okay, so I turn it on, and what do I see? I see a one. These flip flops have any resistors? That way you can run 10k through a resistor. Doesn't matter. Yeah, no. I can't, um, I have to ground it. But if I didn't have a resistor there and I went VCC to ground, what am I doing? I'd blow a fuse if I had a fuse. So it's bad. Well, right here there wouldn't be any resistance, yeah. Anyway, now the issue is if I take this switch and I hit it space, it should go 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Boom. Oh, it's doing it. Three, five, seven, nine. Oh, that's great. Huh? You're just showing your ground. What, what you do you mean you can't it. see it? You don't want to show it to us. <laughs> Bunch of turkey. You no, know, you're packing your bags. You want to go. You don't know. Right. There it goes. All right, so the clock's going a little fast. Okay, so we'll slow down the... So you're gonna, we're going to slow down there. We're going to go back there. We're going to slow down the clock. All right. One hertz. All right. So now the clock's at one hertz. We turn it on. We're at one. Yes, you may. We hit the space, and you want to go up. One. Three. Well, look at the clock down below. See the time down below? Yeah. We have to make it to two seconds before you get to five. Oh. Five, there it is. Finally made it. And then around two and a half, we should get a seven. Seven. Pretty sure yourself, aren't you? so, uh, I told you it was there. You, you could have left. You could have believed me, but no. I just wanted to see no. It you had to go and look. Obviously, I have to do this nine. Nine. Now it still has to go back to one yet, right? So it has to go back to one. Will it make it back to one? Oh, it skipped one. Shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. All right. So I did something wrong. I can't imagine what. <laughs> did something wrong. Yeah, we'll have to go back and check now. Now, if I would have used, if I would have used multiple colors, it would have worked better. Yeah. It's all because you didn't find the